Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to Slay the Spire Draft Champions with my boy Rapsy. How are you today, Raps? Incredibly well in yourself, Alexa. I uh, do. I could not be better. I'm so ready for this this brand new, never before seen draft champions combination that we are going to be doing today. We are going to do basically what we did last week, uh, which is why it's never been seen before. But it's going to be a little bit more interesting. Instead of seeing all three of the cards at once, you're going to have to make the decision on the spot of whether to keep the card, give the card to your opponent, or throw away the card. So it'll be a flip. Ooh, power through. I think I want it. Flip. Oh, poison strike. Apply three poison. I'm going to trash that one. And then, uh, ooh, prepared wraps. You can have that one. So it's going to be a lot of uh, push your luck. So it will be. I uh, I imagine a lot of the time I'm going to settle for one of the first two cards because I'm very terrified of going for the third with the look. Uh, <laughs> and as a result, I'm going to give you a lot of good cards. You're just going to top I... some good stuff in here. I hope you do, to be honest. But uh, I suppose we'll see. I'm also going to... I don't know why, since there's there's only one card going on, I feel the need to make the cards like a little, little bigger. Yeah, this sounds one. good to me. Hey, okay. uh, hey Alexa. So, yeah? Is there anything happening with this... Uh... Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll do a pyramid card today, too. So, uh, Kaboosh. You must finish the run with at least one of the three bosses flawless. If not, insta-lose. Even if you have higher score. I mean, to be fair... Not flawlessing any of the bosses is kind of probably loose. An, yeah, probably an insta lose anyway. So not a super uh, super important pyramid card today, but still a good time mm -hmm. nonetheless. Uh, and frankly, frigid, we'll, we'll chuck these down here as well today, Ooh. so we can see them as we're uh, as we're drafting. Make sure we're getting the deck that we might want. We finally went through and removed all the boss relics, so never again do you have to uh, yell at us for boss relics. It's all good. It only took uh, 17 episodes. Yeah. yeah. It's fine. Big. Only took 17 hours to remove all of them. Exactly. So. It's a long, it's a large <laughs> amount of relics. Took a long time. All right. Uh, Raps, heads or tails? Question of the hour. Uh, I'm going to go with ted, heads. Steads. <laughs> steads. <laughs> going to go steads. All right. That means I win and... either way. I'll just say that I was saying the other thing. And... I'm going I'm to give it 10 taps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, cheated. Unfortunate. You knew okay, the physics so of the game when you said 10 slaps. <laughs> let's see. I would like... Well, I don't know. This is such a weird one to go first on. Because, well, I like, mean, there's no benefit for going first or second, right? So Yeah. The so coin just... flip is just go first, I guess. Yeah, I guess it's just go first. Uh, although I, I suppose with relics, you know, we'll just flip the damn coin again for relics. It's fine. Okay, first. <laughs> okay, well. Do you want the strike? strike huh? I, I think I'm going to give the basic strike to you, Reps. Oh. Oof. Um, I don't really like dual wield, dude. Really? You're not going to just yeah. pick up a bunch of zero costs or anything like that? Yeah, I'm gonna trash it and then I'll take strike from hell which I don't really think is that good but, <laughs> I mean there is you know uh, the oh, there's oh absolutely Karen's oh, yeah, ashes yeah. down here for three damage AOE whenever you exhaust all right first flip is feel no pain mm. well that'd be really good for you <laughs> um you know, I'm going to way? take feel no pain oh heal hook I'm gonna give you heal hook Okay, I'll and then we are going look. to trash clash. Do you will right clash? Where this person <laughs> has a better yeah. deck than both of us right now. Yeah. Dude, Orbital has a killer deck up here. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, Wild Strike. Hmm. I'll give you the Wild Strike. Okay. And I think I'm gonna take the Blade Dance. Honestly, an endless agony. It's, it's just continuing the zero cost uh, deck they got. Distraction. I think I'm going to trash that. You can have bash. Fair enough. I'll take glass knife. Okay. Good ones. Mm -hmm. Run through. Target enemy loses 9 HP and 4 block. 
let's get spicy. I'm gonna I'm gonna ditch that. Sounds good. Storm of Steel, huh? That's a that's a wonky boy. Um, I guess I have to take that because you have a direct synergy kind of, which means you take Berserk, which that's old Berserk. Yeah, now it's two my base upgrades to one, but it's yeah. still uh, that is the vulnerability stat that I'm talking about there. Yeah. Uh, oh, cool! It's a miracle. I mean, I'm gonna take that. I think. I think that's fair. Eight training. Ooh. Oh, we also ball. don't know what character. We don't know what character we're playing. <laughs> oh, that's true. Here you go. Have a catalyst. We're playing silent. Cool. Draw two extra cards on the first turn. That matters. Okay. All right. So I got I got a shiv and poison deck. Gotta love it. Alchemize. It's a, it's a weird one. It's a weird one. Um. Not bad. I'm gonna trash it. You can have endless agony. Appreciate it. Oh, and I'll take twin strike. I would rather have alchemize. Harry, uh, deal four damage, gain two reflection if the target intends to attack ethereal exhaustive two or uh, three. Uh, you have no defense in your deck at the moment, so you can have uh, <laughs> you can have reflection. Okay. Limb from limb. Okay, so we saw this one is really good. Mm-hmm. The only problem is I have no vulnerability, so I don't really have a way to set it up yet. True. I think I'll still take it, though. And then we trash a Palm Strike. I do love me a Palm Strike. So we're at eight cards. We still got we still got seven more cards joining this deck right now. Mm -hmm. So Caltrops is a good card um, that I'm going to chuck in the trash. Mm -hmm. Nightmare you can mess with and Ooh, get weird. I, I don't... I'm not messing with that, and I'll take Sneaky Strike, which is clearly what I wanted. Uh, I think I'll take the Acrobatics. Yeah, it's fair. Uh, Outmaneuver can be yours, actually. <laughs> and we'll trash the Crystal. Ah, dang it. Yeah, we what? missed one. It's fine. Crystal of Super Nations. Hey, actually, that, yeah, that's good. All right. Cleave. Can I ask a question? You may. Uh, where is the defense in the deck? Uh, yeah, mine is feel no pain. Where's yours? Uh, yeah. That sounds about right, to be honest with you. Uh, mine is also your feel no pain. <laughs> so no, it's okay. You can get anchor. <laughs> oh, that is true, actually. Oh, my God. I, I don't want to give you this, but... I, I really don't want to give you that. I understand. You have a, you have a, a lot of... I don't want to take this, though. Uh, I'll do it. This better not be friggin' Shiv, blocking. shiv, shiv. Uh, Ooh. Kind of. All right. What do you got? Uncanny or... Uh... All right, dude. I think that card's good. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Enjoy having that with your clash. Well laid plan. Hmm. Just like always a good card. Yes, but the next card is also a silent card, and every shift card is ridiculous for me because of feel no pain. That's true. I'll take it. This is gonna be <laughs> block, Avenue, block, here we go. Block. <laughs> Come on, dude. We've got uh, okay. three more each if we want to go for a deck of fifteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, too good for anyone. Trash it. Oh, yeah, 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 I'm trashing it. Uh, I will take evolve, and you can enjoy your sword boomerang. Thank you. It's a little janky up there, though. Oh, no, oh, my God. Um, I don't even know if you need it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that's the that's the eternal problem here, right? Perhaps I think we're going for the uh, short draft champs video. Die on the first floor, since neither of us have any block. I I don't know. I'm getting that. Well, uh, the, the feel no pain. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna trash that actually. Exhume. Exhume the private reserves you have. 
<laughs> it's just, I can't pull back anything super important with you. You have that. I'm going to have uh, this silent card. You ready? Yeah. Boom. Oh. It's not I bad. Actually, I would have liked it. <laughs> okay, so we're at 14. So this is the final card, huh? Oh, Jesus criminy. I'm gonna give that to you. Cheers. And then combust, I'm gonna throw the hell away. And I will take a deal one damage, lose all strength, and this is affected by five. This is a terrible card for me. Alright! This is a pretty good. rough one. 1, 2, it's 3, 4, 5, 6, yeah. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So yeah, the, the first player thing gave you the ability to make one more choice than I did. Oh, mm. would you look at that. That's the, uh, that's the advantage you get there. There is the advantage, uh, which means we don't even need to do this. It do just means... I, I, it, I'll let you decide since I won the last coin flip. Do you want to take first relic or take next two? Uh... I'll... <laughs> it's a rough one, isn't it? It is a rough one. I'll take the first I... one. I'm taking the Kay. Psycho Skull. Really? Yeah, I'm not getting counterpicked. I want the, evo uh, the Envenom to be twice as effective. That's fair. I kind of... I'm going to be honest with you. I thought the, the counterpick was me taking the ashes from you, which is Man. what I'm going to do. And then I'm gonna take the block since you know there is none in my deck. See, I figured if I said you can take uh, one first and then I'll take two, that you were gonna be taking the ashes anyway. So yeah, I didn't want to get counterpicked on the the Sneko skull because I think it actually might be more important than the ashes for me. Maybe specifically for boss yeah. fights. Uh, Maybe. I hmm. There's I think a... it helps that to be honest, the relics are pretty bad. Yeah, there's a lot of garbage. <laughs> Yeah, but also I'm not gonna generate enough block on every turn, so I might just take the uh, the the self forming clay as like. I extra think defense. it's a totally fair, totally fair play. I think that that or golden idol are the only two plays you got there. Yeah, yeah, I think that's because strange spoon is effectively like bad for you, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, with um, I don't yeah, know. I want like, the endless agonies back. I don't. I'm never gonna play nightmare. It's too expensive. Private reserves yeah. really depends how much draw I get into the deck is if I want it back. But it'll be really bad when eventually I do get shivs into this deck because I'm going for all the stores and looking for shivs, obviously. Yeah. That's you fair. getting Blade Dance and Storm of Steel was like, oh, I wanted those so bad. Yeah. All right, you want to place a bet right now? Uh, sure. Okay. What do you bet that this top card right here, silent card, is a block card? Uh... Here, ready? All of if my it, money. So you think it is a block card? Yeah. Okay. If it's not a block card, then you have to... Oh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. If it if it is not a block card, then you have to give me acrobatics, and I have to give you a card. So in the inverse, if, if it is a block card, I get one of your if cards? If it is a block card, you get one of my cards. And I, so I mean, let, 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 let's make it interesting, right? Put up three cards you'd be happy to lose in front of you. Three cards I would be happy to lose. I mean, yeah. one, two, three. Like, okay. none of those are going to be good. Yep. I'm going to, ooh, <laughs> the catalyst is a little scary. Uh, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do this okay are you interested in any of these three yeah sure okay because i'm interested in one of yours so then that those that's the trade scenario you can take one of mine give up one of yours if this is a block card all right okay ready mm -hmm. not a block uh, card. unless you have after images in play yeah you're right this is yours yeah okay i'm going to take the wild strike off mm -hmm. your hands and then you can have let me just double check, double check, double check. Ooh, I don't want to give you that. I'll give you this. Okay. There we go. Fair game. Why'd we do that? Uh, I have no idea. 
to be honest with you. Wiz? This was the card that got flipped over. <laughs> All right. right, right. <laughs> wondering about what was going on there. Yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is a bit of a weird one. It doesn't really yeah, change yeah, much well, there. But... It did absolutely nothing, but whatever. We, uh, we shall have to see exactly how these pilot when we get into the game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll see you there. And we're back. We have our decks loaded in this time without an extra iron wave, and we are ready to go. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, do you want to give us a countdown so we can get off the mark? Because uh, both of these decks yeah. feel like they're going to die in no time flat. So. Yeah. Three, two, one. Let's go. Okay. And we'll see where this one goes, because I think it is it is straight to the freaking grave. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're going straight into the trash can, my friend. Yep. But you know what? At least we'll be there together. Um, exactly. I, I appreciate the solidarity in that. Yeah, it is. It, 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 it's not going to be good. <laughs> Sorry. It's going to be less than ideal. There's something about exactly that kind of like over belabored way of responding that I was just like, oh, perfect. Hey, uh, hey Alexa, how's your uh, how's your last week been? Hmm, my last week. Uh, let's see. Well, I will say, and this is this is speaking. Oh my God, there's two block cards in the shop I can afford. Mm-hmm. Enjoy, enjoy. Oh, 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 baby, we might survive. Uh, I can't deny. I, I have to say that for sure. And 56 years in the past. Sorry, what? Yes. I think that last week's Wednesday stream mm -hmm. could possibly be the best Wednesday stream we've ever done. Almost certainly. Yeah. Yeah. What I mean, it, it, was just, it was an amazing, amazing time. If you're listening right now and you're going, ah, crap, I missed a good time. Uh, guess what? You freaking did. So the way to not miss a good time <laughs> is to, you know, actually show up to the, the Wednesday streams <laughs> over on Twitch.tv slash Alexa stream slash Rhapsody slash Retromation slash wherever other wholesome boy you want to you want to go watch that is live that day. Uh -huh. I love I love the antagonistic take on this instead. <laughs> <laughs> hey, numbskull. This is where you find the content you're looking for. God, I can't believe I have to explain this to your stupid brain. It's like, uh, yeah, I see it, I see it. Uh, you know, they a very extremely, extremely good time. Uh, also, looks like, although at this point, this will be last week, right? <laughs> yeah, that, that's actually true. So the I didn't even know it. No, the no, upcoming but then, will be the greatest stream we ever do. Exactly, because the next yeah. is actually going to be really, really good. We have a very, very good docket. We have a bunch of really cool people coming in. It's uh, it's really nice because like there yeah. was there was a moment that I had where I was like, wait a second, we're we're kind of doing it. Like this is the kind of show format with all of the kind of like group and kind of group dynamic and and everyone playing in and having fun and streams get like this is the kind of thing that I really wanted. Like the whole time I've been on YouTube and yeah. it's happening on Twitch. <laughs> we, we, <laughs> yeah, we, we be doing it. It's good. It's good. Dude, I'm, I'm more excited about this week's, uh, stream than any stream I've done recently. Like <laughs> I, I think it's going to be a absolute banger of a stream this That's week. Quite a big call, but I, Oh my God. You okay there? Yep. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. That's good. Uh, have you defeated the first elite yet? Uh, I'm in <laughs> that elite fight right now. Cool. Tell me when you do. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm basically like hoping and praying I can just straight up kill this guy on this turn, but mm -hmm. it ain't it ain't gonna happen. So I I will not flawless his little sorry son of a gun. I right, got my fingers crossed though. My dude, my I'm gonna tell you right now, my deck is surprisingly okay. Uh, illegal. Oh no! Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> no, that's unfair. Yeah, it's working. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I am incredibly upset. <laughs> I am just massively, massively upset about that. I, I, I cannot even I can't I I I'm 
just upset. Yeah, I'm so mad and I just can't hide it. I'm about to yeah. lose control and I think I like it. It's it, Look, it it happens. But oh my god, though. Yeah. Oh my god. I... Upset man right here. Anyway. I don't know. Where, 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 are, we going? where are we going with this conversation? Uh, anyway. That was how my last seven days went, as I'm still reminiscing on the past uh, stream we did. Because there was nothing else. You. There was nothing else exciting that occurred, basically. Yeah. Oh, I mean, there was that whole thing that's like the the USA Fourth of July stuff. Um, you know, celebrating a holiday and all that. But I really, what that's not that not that important. Yeah. People seem to a little less jazzed on it this year than otherwise. I, 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 I mean, you know, they, they, it's not like the U.S. is on fire or anything recently it's it's honestly is you know yeah it's all good yeah, every, everything's yeah. fine Every, yeah yeah everything yeah, everything's great <laughs> it's going it's going good I, I, so I, I, I'm, I'm going to talk you through a situation real quick. Please so I just started combat, and Sneaky Strike is highlighted yellow. Oh. Uh. I'm, huh? I'm going to play it, Go but I'm going to be really mad if it doesn't give me energy. I mean, I shouldn't be, but. No, but I, I give you the, the license it to gave be. Me the, it gave me the energy. <laughs> Red? I'm very confused. Confused, but, but it, you know, it's it's a bad error in your favor. I yeah, something broke and I'm I'm here for it. Slay the spider devs, bring me in, show me the money. I'll I'll show you the the hack that I found. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I love the idea that they have to bring you in in order to discover it. They can't watch the video. They can't inspect the code. God, we're stumped. We're gonna need Alexa. <laughs> Uh, this 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 episode has gone incredibly downhill early. <laughs> uh, All right, alrighty. I I have my uh, first boss fight coming up now. Oh, mm, in venom I, in the opening hand. Hell yes, we're done. Cool, cool. <laughs> I yeah, I'm not at I'm not at my boss fight yet. Oh, by the way, if you want to know, actually, uh, no, this Neko skull isn't working. I thought it was, but no, I just struck two times and I've got four poison on them, so. Two oh, Sneko skulls doesn't work. That's really unfortunate. Yeah, that that kind of sucks. Because now I just have a random Sneko skull and I, I applied zero poison. So this is a little bit of a... Feels a little bad, to be honest with you. Uh, I totally understand. Uh, 97, uh -huh. the split value is 70. The enemy is taking 9 damage this time. So I actually have to math for a second. This is going to take, a, you gonna take a couple thousand hours. Math, math your freaking butt off. I don't care. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Very few people let me map my ball off these days. When you when you were in school, because I look, it's not like I'm assuming you went to school. I know for a fact that you went to school. Wow. Um, D excuse me. Don't put me on blast <laughs> in front of my my internet friends. Everyone thinks I grew up in a cave with wolves. Oh. oh. <laughs> all right. All, all, all right. Uh, Kunta Quinte. Anyway, um, when you were in school, I, I know that you took software engineering classes which oh. at least in the u.s means that you took math did you have mm -hmm. a, a favorite math uh probably not like i really enjoyed my physics classes like i hmm. I, I enjoyed practical applications of math uh i i guess i enjoyed you know computing structures and matrices and stuff like that as well mm. so like a, a linear algebra yeah yeah. Linear algebra uh, is the last thing that I had to do as well for math courses, so it might just be the most present in my mind also. That's Although, like algorithm design and stuff like Yeah, so no, I'm gonna go with linear algebra probably. I uh okay. I, I, I was never much for trig. Oh I, yeah, I was not a trig guy. Yeah. Is yeah. is there something about it in particular? Because I, I, I can search my soul as much as I would like, but I won't find the answer. Perhaps your answer would be mine as well. So I'm I, I'm gonna tell you I'm a little bit of an oddball when it comes to this one, mm -hmm. uh, because I, so I really enjoyed, um, basically I I enjoy any math that is 
uh, more algorithm based, mm -hmm. right? Your your calculus, your um, you know your your calculus, your uh, algebra. That's that's where I liked math. Mm -hmm. uh, trig and geometry. Once it was like prove this exists, I'm like, no, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I I don't want to do that. Uh, and that was like I enjoyed the the you know like the Sokotoa part of trig. Mm -hmm. But besides that, I was like, I don't, I don't I really don't have any interest in ever doing trig ever again. Like I I just hate this. That said, my favorite math was discrete mathematics, which was a hundred percent proving everything. Mm -hmm. But it was proving everything in a like uh in the manner of like uh this is how it works in a computer kind of thing and that that i found interesting but All right so I, but I, I i like linear too actually <laughs> i enjoyed linear a lot <laughs> did i i think i was supposed to take a dmath course wait was, was dmath course like designing um uh oh god uh, like designing it was, it state machines like, and stuff a uh, little bit it was more uh it was kind of more focused around um sorry i'm in the middle of this boss fight that i'm trying to flawless and it's like totally you know, understand. It's very easy boss fight to flawless so i'm trying not to mess it up um Okay, we are good. Boss flawless, lovely day. Uh, discrete was more like binary systems, logic, uh, set theory, things like that. Mm -hmm. And I, I enjoyed it a lot. It sounds relatively enjoyable, to be honest with you. Yeah. I, I love logic, dude. Logic and like... I mean, like I, I, will, I will sit down. You know those... Uh, they're, they're called this is you're getting into like my my inner workings of every day in my life mm. i don't know if you've ever heard of what a nonogram is a nonogram no yeah so basically i'm i'm so freaking stupid right now it, it, <laughs> i'm so dumb just please anybody watching on my side pretend i don't exist that was the worst play i've ever made in this series holy crap uh <laughs> i have to go and watch that footage <laughs> <laughs> it was it was just horrendous honestly um, but a nonogram is basically, it's a puzzle that is, you kind of have a grid of numbers and each column slash row tells you how many, uh, how many spots are filled in, in that grid. Mm -hmm. Um, and then it, it like makes a picture at the end of it. I love it because it is a hundred percent just deducing logic. It's like a sudoku that is less thinky you know i can kind of just like deduce things logically instead of doing the the like oh i suppose sudoku is completely logic anyway but it, it, so whatever it's, it's right? the middle it, joining line between sudoku and connect the dots <laughs> i mean that makes it sound significantly uh well, I less, mean... less intriguing but <laughs> i it, it has not i mean okay it has a little to do okay it's like it's kind sure <laughs> <laughs> I, lo I love how every time you're like, well, I mean, it's, I mean I, yes. <laughs> Just like move it down until you actually hit the air. Uh, I like it. I like it. Okay. I'm fine. not, I'm not we, saying we... that negatively. That's fine. Uh, yeah. Okay. Anyway. In the end, uh, these nonogram things, I sit on my phone like every day. And it's like the first thing I do in the morning or the last thing I do at night is I just do the the daily daily nonogram puzzle on my mm -hmm. phone. And my girlfriend makes fun of me. She calls me a old man because I sit and do my puzzles every day. That's but it's but not old I, man. I, 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 I love my puzzles, man. That's that's totally fine. I think it's like rad as hell to have something like that that is kind of like ritualistic yeah. and kind of calming. I, something dude. you enjoy just to do daily. I think it's, exactly. I think it's very important, in fact. Yeah. I love it. If anything, I credit you for it. Yeah. I appreciate that. I, I wish I had, like, an interesting hobby, like, at the moment. At the moment, like, all my spare time is just going into watching uh, German dark mystery shows. <laughs> oh, you're watching dark? I'm watching dark! Hell yeah! <laughs> yeah. You know I, it. I, I have not watched dark yet, but it is... It is on my to-do list mm -hmm. to soon watch Dark because I've heard great things about it. it. 
I I've uh, I've experienced great things about it. I think I'm six episodes oh. in, and uh, one of uh, one of my favorite TV shows of all time. And I I, I never shut up about it uh, when I get started talking about it. So I'm gonna jump off the topic very quickly. But <laughs> one of my favorite TV shows of all time is NBC's Hannibal with uh, Mads Mikkelsen, and uh, oh god, uh, I forgot the name of the character playing Will Grant. Anyway, name the actor playing Will Grant. Anyway, one of my favorite shows of all time. Uh, it it splits the the kind of vibe between that. Uh, and and that actually no it's it's largely just the Hannibal vibe but kind of like the Stranger Things kind of like sense of mystery instead of yeah, kind of like because because Hannibal the TV show like has to reckon with the fact that everyone knows the story of Hannibal Lecter so you can't be like playing it like a thriller or anything like that like well who killed it was it was it Hannibal Lecter it's like yeah it was Hannibal Lecter next question please. <laughs> Yeah, no, I got you. Yeah, it's so good. Oh, I cannot wait to talk yeah. to you about it after you've uh, after you've engaged. Uh, would you watch with German audio and English subtitles, or the English audio and English subtitles, or English audio and no subtitles? What's uh, what's your approach to a foreign film? Okay, that was a lot to take in. Uh, I. One sec, figuring out values of, of attacks uh, this is technically better. Okay. Um, I, so I'll, I'll out myself. I'm good to out myself here. Mm -hmm. Oh, yikes. This round sucks. Dude, I got, I got too many curses in my deck. <laughs> How'd you this get is, any? Uh, I have, I have three curses in my deck. Um, I've got bell curse. I got one from the warp tongs thingy and then i got one that was like you got a 75 percent chance to get cursed and i was like absolutely but anyway um i i have never watched a foreign film that would have to be subtitled you didn't engage in uh in parasite last year i did not and i i still would like to see it but i'd still recommend I, it i have not yeah I, I trust me i i know yeah it's <laughs> Man, many many people have uh, recommended that one yeah fair enough i don't need to add to the chorus but uh but yeah. yeah so i don't know to be perfectly blunt but i i was under the assumption that dark was a hundred percent in german so i was intending on watching it a hundred percent in german if mm -hmm. that answers the question uh it does okay i would also recommend it I, I watched the first two episodes with the English voice actors instead, uh, the the okay. dubbing, and honestly, I don't think they got actors to do it. I'm not saying it's bad acting. I'm saying it yeah. isn't acting. It's people yeah. just kind of like very clearly just reading the subtitles. But also, the English dubbing and the English subtitles don't match. Uh, oh, that, that, <laughs> yeah, that's horrible. Oh, it's uh, who parts of me died on the inside when I realized. Yeah. No, that's not great. But yes, very, very good. Very much enjoying that at the moment. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to watch it. What else has been kicking on this week? Oh, I got uh, got 10 new emotes in for my artist, which is mm. extremely exciting. Very exciting. New emote day is so good. I, <laughs> I always try and leave the emotes in the server for a while and just not mention it and see when people kind of pick up on when it. And... Notice, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's so good. I got you. Yeah. No, very exciting. Mm -hmm. All right, Gremlin leader, you're going down. This finisher is actually doing like hard work in this deck right now. I am still, I am still hurting in this deck, but it's, it's like an awkward hurting where I think I'm like good enough to survive this run, mm -hmm. but there's still a lot of issues with my deck. You know, I, I basically, I went from like, I'm a hundred percent going to die to now it's like, okay, I, I have to do better than ramps because I'm going to survive. Oh, where I'm at now. okay. Okay. I, I think that I think that you're doing better than I am. And that's worrying me. I, I don't know if that's true. Is the I thing about that, though. Okay. And it's worrying me. 
if that didn't make that clear. See, the thing is, I have two copies of Acrobatics, two copies of Bane. I have three rares in the deck. Sorry, four rares in the deck and no curses. I yeah. don't think you are doing worse. I mean... I have plenty of things going wrong in my deck, too. I have two rares that I'm using regularly. Mm -hmm. I have a duped blur... So I have minimum three cards I have to remove. Now I do have Peace Pipe, so that does Helps. make it possible. But... Helps I don't know. at least a little bit. Oh my god! So I, I went into a battle with a wanted poster and I'd spent a lot of money just beforehand. Uh, now one of my enemies has Time Collector, which is if I play eight cards in a single turn, my turn ends. And it's in the, the Slaver's fight. Oof. The <laughs> fruit. Yeah, that's not amazing. Not at all. I also do not think I have flawless an elite fight yet. <laughs> so you got that going for you too. Have I I've done a it? chunk of them, but I don't know if I've flawless an elite fight either. Okay. Hmm. I mean, you know, oh, both of us see. are contending with a very serious lack of any defense whatsoever. Yeah, I mean, I got three block cards in my deck. And I start with the 10 block, which I will be honest, helps way more than I want to admit it mm -hmm. does. Like Front-loaded block matters a lot. I'm, I'm on yeah. board. Uh, get him. <sighs> okay, we're, we're, we're chilling, we're chilling. Mystery Machine could be pretty important for me. I, uh, yeah, I, I feel like I'm going to have a pretty bad time next floor. You're you're still second floor, right? Yeah, it's still second floor. I'm about to go to the final elite here. Oh, that dude, we're we're on the exact same pace right now. Mm -hmm. That. I also, I'm getting so much energy, and I have no idea from where. I start some turns with like seven energy. I don't know where I'm getting it. Hmm. Oh, it's you the have ring a happy of no, ring of hypnosis is where I'm getting it. No, oh. ring of misfortune. All right. Yeah, Start I, a combat, add a random curse every time you draw one. Energy and three temp HP. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. That is so good. I only went for yeah, one yeah. ring there, and I got the Ring of Fangs, which was you have negative three strength, but anytime you deal unblocked attack damage, deal one poison. Negative three strength means I would never deal unblocked attack damage. Ugh. Yeah. So rude. All right. Dude, it, it's, a, it's a weird deck. It's working, and uh, thus I'm I'm in. But it's it's a weird deck. I also the curses I have are ass. Like I have regret and pain, and mm -hmm. I am not happy about it. But that's sometimes price you pay, right? Did you not get the peace pipe? I did get peace pipe, uh, but I you know me when I play draft champs with you, mm -hmm. zero percent chance that I'm going to remove any curses from this deck. I would rather die. Fair point, well made. <laughs> Also, Karen's Ashes, many thank yous. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. It's pretty much the reason I'm winning. Well, yeah. the reason I am doing good. I was worried it'd be doing too good work. Yeah, it's, it's spicy. <sighs> spicy in every good way. I'm going to take a hex here because I think I've just got a kill. So I learned something today. I, I'm HP. glad to hear it. Anyway, so, uh, <laughs> uh, temp HP yeah. takes pain and regret before a buffer does. Temp HP takes pain and regret before a buffer does. Yes. Yeah. Didn't know that. Quite happy about it, too. It's, it is a, a, a very good one right there. Yeah. Even my buffer is, is very nice. Oh, baby, blue candle is so friggin' stupid good for my run. Oh, oh baby. Is oh, your baby. run is popping off the top? Oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, baby. It's hot. Okay. Hot damn. I am I am a, a very, very thrilled boy right now. Okay. If I can get enough cards out of this deck, I, it can be good. Uh, but it's a big if. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be 
Okay. 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 We're dude. We're we're freaking doing it. We're doing it. And Captain Abe, let's be real. What a joke. He's such a freaking dummy. Yeah, Captain Abe is gonna get stalled on, but also I think I'm gonna take damage in the first round. Ooh. That that is uh no bueno. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm taking damage here. There's absolutely nothing I can do about it. That is what we call not great. Damn straight we call it that. Oof. I had a baseball, and the baseball hit one of my one-cost cards instead of the, the life from Lin. I might actually end up dying in this boss fight, to be entirely honest with you. <laughs> like, it's getting... Uh, it's, it's getting pretty concerning. Well, I, I bid you the best of luck, my friend. I, I would not it. want you to die on this one, despite what I normally say. It's okay, it's okay. I understand the the, the sincerity and the, the fact that you have to balance that against, obviously, your own indeed. intention to win. Indeed. I appreciate that, that you balance those on your behalf. Is. Yep. I also have actually no idea how the hell drowning works in this fight, but I'm not even going to try to figure it out right now. I'm just, I'm just going to hit them. I know that hitting them makes it better. So, mm -hmm. yeah. It's one of those things where it's like, not going to think too long and hard about it. Yeah. I mean, dr like, if you play the fight normally, usually drowning is taken care of. So, yeah, you're 100% yeah. right there. Uh, all right, let's get this pond fish down. <laughs> I hate when the pond fish heals. That's just like rude as hell. How dare they? Yeah, what, what what are you doing? Okay. Uh, I might take damage. Yeah. No, I won't. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Although maybe. No, I will not. <laughs> oh no, I did. He had no okay, I don't know how he actually he did damage. Never mind, I took damage, so Okay. You can you feel a little bit better. It's it's just at this point I feel necessary for me to still have a chance for winning. Uh if you do have taken that damage, so I appreciate it on that behalf. Things are spicy, man. Things are a little spicy. I, I'm definitely oh never mind, I interrupted him. It's spicy. We're, I think our runs are are tight right now, mm -hmm. and that could that could result in a, a photo finish of the best of kinds. So it could. I am going to be collecting my. Oh wait, you don't get Captain Abe, Captain Abe's pickle from that. I thought you do. I I didn't. Yeah. Well, I, I'm not done with the fight, so I can't tell you yet. But oh, okay. I was under the assumption that you do. So, news to me. As was I. Uh, look, i got to be honest. My only chance here now is that you die. And so I'm no longer going for score. I am now just going for power. Interesting. Ooh. It's not that well, I want you to a... die. It's just the only this way that I win. <laughs> Boy, Sneko is interesting here, but I'm going to take Curse Key. Mm-hmm. Because now I have a legitimate chance at curses on this. Uh, dude, I have a chance at curses, Highlander, and Popper, just so you know. <laughs> yeah. So, going to be a little spicy, but... I figured the thing is, I basically, I basically need to use my last rest site to peace pipe my uh, Storm of Steel. And then hope I... And then hope what? Survive. Which is not really how I, I... I just hope I survive after that. Because I, I use it way too much, dude. Like, way too much. Also, I will tell you, I don't deserve part of my win because Sneaky Strike is 100% just activating at random times. And that is very, very unfair. Eh, like, it okay. just gives me the two energy randomly when I play it. I don't know if I I'm, was, I'm missing something. but I, I was playing Bag of Tricks with Zero in the last episode. It's okay. It's fine. Not fair. God, I, I have to use so many multi-attacks against these spikers in order to kill them. I... I'm using chips against them. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I feel that, dude. 
That sucks. I'm down on half health after a single fight. What up? <laughs> you're you're you don't want to hear what my health is at after that fight. Uh, if it's full, I don't want to hear. Otherwise, yeah, gimme. I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll remain quiet. Oh come <laughs> on! <laughs> I'll remain quiet. <laughs> uh, oh, baby. Okay. There's a Lee's waffle in that shop that you can grab. Uh, I'm not going to the shop because I took the, the wanted poster, so shops for me are actually pretty rough. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you still going Elite Heavy on this floor? Yep. Uh, also, I have the wing boots, and I jumped for extra elites in two situations. I also have, so. <laughs> Damn, then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I need you to take on more challenges and die. Sorry. It's spicy. I'm playing a finisher for eight attacks when there's vulnerability, so that's fun. The shivs are so good. Yeah, they're, they're really, really good. As soon as I saw the Fielder Pains, I was like, you know, Shivs are going to be a huge part of this run. Uh, unfortunately, yeah. I only ended up with one Shiv card, so I'm not really getting to capitalize on it in the way that I'd hoped. You're going to be so mad at me. <laughs> For having a bunch of Shiv cards or something like that? No, I just got to the Gremlin uh, card game. Yeah. Managed to get a curse out of it, mm -hmm. and that curse is just Common Cold, which is just a free card. Yeah. I, I am envious of your run. Intensely it, envious it, of your run. It guarantees curses for me now. So. Because I'll 100% get one from uh, this chest coming up. Very true. Yeah. Very gross and good. Alright, so. I, I had no faith in this deck, but. Do you really manage to pull it back around? Well done. I have I have no idea what I did, honestly. It's it's a weird it's a weird dank and jank as hell deck, mm -hmm. but it does something. And this... I think it's literally just Karen's ashes carried my entire build. We did see recently that jank can be good. There is a there is a <laughs> sweet spot of jank. Pummel Party told us that. Another party. call back to the, the wholesome Wednesday stream. Not only the current Wednesday one that is like just past as this has come out, but uh, also the uh, the next one. The, the previous one, rather. I don't want to leak the, the DMs here, mm. but did you by any chance read Orbital talking about Bubble Party? Because <laughs> it's one of the funniest things I've read in a while. Uh, I, I don't remember if I saw his exact phrasing, but I know that, uh, <laughs> he didn't seem super thrilled with it, let's say. He, I almost, I, just because of the love of my dear friend Orbital, I have to pull it up just because it's so funny. Go um, it. <laughs> that was a damn near immediate refund. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The jank wasn't jank enough for me to completely disassociate it in my mind from being bad Mario Party. I've never seen a greater sentence in my life, to be honest. Yeah. A and the worst part though. is, the worst part is he's so right. Yep. <laughs> he's so incredibly right. The game is so just <laughs> something straight from the depths of hell. I love it. That's that's the thing though. Like you uh, you say it straight from the depths of hell, and then say I love it in the next breath, and yep. he says it and says I hate yep. it. Yep, <laughs> yep. It was good. It's some good stuff. And you can find that kind of content over on Twitch TV slash Rhapsody. Mm -hmm. And that's not actually his Twitch. Twitch TV slash Rhapsody plays. You can find it over at uh, Twitch TV slash Alexa Kid sixty four. Thanks. <laughs> No problem. Twitch.tv slash modiply. Oh, I forgot fire breathing is good now. Oh, yeah. Fire breathing's real good in your deck right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This dude just... The freaking Rapsoda quarter just popped a mango? What? Yeah. Did, 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 did you do that? 
yeah, it, it, his his whole thing, or my whole thing, as the case may be, uh, is uh, <laughs> gaining relics. Really? Yeah. Mango, it shows how Vajra. little I pay attention to the game when I play it. Mm -hmm. If you're not ridiculously <laughs> powerful by this point, the Rhapsodic Order can be a whew, can be real mean. Uh, yeah. it, it seems like largely based around things that would ruin my deck if I encountered it. Um, but then secondarily has kind of like a, a few of similar fascinations that I do in the game of like you're know, hoarding a bunch of different relics and that kind of stuff. Okay, so I I do have to let you know something now. Okay, I'd love to know it. What is it? You've won. Um, no. No, I yet. think <laughs> I'm just stupid. What? I, like, oh, it's I, I okay, Alex. So you're fine. It's... No, I think I'm actually dumb. Um, I'm playing. <laughs> I'm playing something that gives me a discard at the start of my hand. Which is why Sneaky Strike has been activating. Mm -hmm. But I have absolutely no idea what's giving me the discard. And I, I think I'm going insane. So, so you're discarding where, something at the I'm start at. of each of your hands. I think so. I don't know. Let me double check. I... Oh, wait. No, I'm... Okay, I'm, I'm definitely dumb. No, I'm definitely dumb. Just, just ignore me. I'm... <laughs> No Wait, value. What happened? Don't, don't worry. I, I popped tools of the trade in just this room. Oh, and I was right. like, yeah. am I insane and have had this the entire time? And the answer is absolutely not. I have not had it the entire time. So yeah. just smile and nod. Smile, smile and nod. Smile and nod, boys. Okay. Time to remove one blur. Okay. Now I just got to remember to remove the Storm of Steel at the end because that is literally losing like a lot of points if I don't. Okay. Mm, why don't you uh, forget to do that instead, please? Mm. Have you considered that? I thought about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, where'd you land? I think it's a no from me. Oh, pish. Couldn't it interest you? Fiend fire in an exhaust deck with Karen's ashes is really funny. Yeah, it's real rude and extremely powerful. Oh yeah, uh, I enjoyed that a lot. Well, there's the blue candle and mango. Hang on, it's my third rhapsodic hoarder now. What? Sorry, That's second. A little alarming. Second in three. Sorry. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. No, it's it's a normal. Say, that, that's, that's many of them, and I'm a little concerned. It is a uh, somewhat normal amount. Okay. Alrighty here. Decent deck generation. All right. Things uh, are going. Are you past Where halfway on the final act? I am about halfway i'm a, i'm getting to my chest shortly okay cool so i am just like slightly ahead of you i'm just past the chest okay i've been i've been elite hopping and going all over the damn place so mm -hmm. okay just got iou which is good but also not good because i can't i can't blue candle that one that's that's funky Okay. Yeah, that that does make sense actually. That some of the uh, some of the curses in this wouldn't be able to blue, blue candle. Like some of them are just yeah. die. Yeah. How you blue candle that? Yeah. Okay. No, I definitely okay. Sneaky strike, a hundred percent activated at the start of my turn. So I'm I'm gonna abuse it, but I I also in my heart of hearts know that I should not do that. No, okay. that's totally fine. No, it's not. But I will will pretend. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. It's good. Everything's good. This is my second uh, Rhapsody I'm fighting, so that, that's chill. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. There's, uh, there's another Dude, one on the floor. I'm, my man showed up again. All right. Get myself an Aura Calcum out of that fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you just win this one. Um, I we'll see. I'm dying to attrition way too quickly to do anything. It like instead of me, you know, jeopardizing my score to go for being powerful, I've jeopardized my score, and I'm also not powerful. I've uh, managed the midline. It's not 
a great place to be. Oh, but God. don't give up hope yet. Because if there's one thing that I've learned when I play Slay the Spire, I can absolutely still screw this one up. I, I hate to say that, that that is the thing that I need to hope for. Yeah, no. And and hope you should. And hope I but shall. I also, and hope you shall. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay. Get him. At least I've got poison for the spikers that I can throw in now, so I don't have to worry about that as much. It's also really I nice to have like a handful of dazed as well as two feel no pains in play because I'm just gonna defend at the end of my turn for a casual uh, 30. That's pretty good. I don't wanna I don't wanna be the bearer of bad news, my mm -hmm. friend. I would start to I would start to come to terms with the lost. Yeah, I think oh, I think I I, I I've been yeah. at terms with this loss for a while now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, barring I lose on the boss, even then I still have a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Storm of Steel is bye bye. I am perfect. Okay, cool. We chilling. Do I need do the poison? Uh, uh, so here we go. You hate poison stab. Uh, well, it's kind of a meme in my community that I don't like it. I just don't take it because I don't think it's a valuable card. Okay. I, it's it's not like I hate it. It's just yeah. I, I I I don't think it performs well enough to really justify its place in most decks, especially because yeah. like it's not that great damage and also not that great poison, so it doesn't lead easily into either of those builds. Yeah, I got you. So here's what I have available in the shop because of a special edition tag. Mm. Poison stab cost two, sixteen damage, eight poison. Good card. Poison stab costs to 16 damage, 8 poison, you said. Yeah. Uh, what's it upgrade to? Ooh, now that I didn't see. I already left. Ah, yeah. Well, that's going to be really hard for me to learn what it upgrades to now, so... Um... <laughs> that is going to be more difficult to learn what it upgrades to. Uh... I think it's interesting. I, I'm, I'm not sure it's bad. Like. No, I, I think it is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I think it completely changes the dynamic of that uh that card. I hate this, but I'm avoiding the shop just so that I can get uh gets glass knife. Uh just so that I can get enough money so that the boss doesn't have extra stuff on it. Which means I'm giving up the Lee's waffle. Hmm. Life's real hard. I might kill the boss yeah. before you though. I mean the boss fight right now. I am still a two rooms away. Okay. So you gotta. So I might have that at least. So I might be the speed run of the two of us. You might. Yeah, you're the speed run. I'm stuck in the spiker fights. Are just they're they're ass, as you well know. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Carry that out. Right. I think I'm still full defended this turn. I might perfect this fight. Have you Doesn't perfected every fight so far? Uh, for bosses? Yeah. No. I didn't perfect the second. Oh, whoa. What's this? <laughs> uh, a possibility that I win. No, I didn't, you didn't the perfect second either. Yeah, it's not gonna yeah. happen. Don't worry. Yeah. Yeah, I, <laughs> I just go. I've got to ramp up the tension <laughs> somehow. Otherwise, it's just yeah. Raps is already lost. We might as well uh, leave the video right now. No, you must stay for the <laughs> <laughs> for the end of the video where we say like, comment, subscribe, etc. Yeah, all that. Yeah. All After right. that, you may leave though. <laughs> no, yeah, stick around. Do you have? Here's a here's a inside baseball streaming question. Love it. Do you have people that are just constantly sitting in your, your Twitch chat? Uh, not really. Is, really? Is, is that a super common thing? Uh, like, people, when I go online in the morning to start a stream, I will usually recognize a few names that are already in there, just as I'm, like, loading up my uh, my Streamlabs chatbot, which has, like, a list of all viewers. 
so yeah. that's kind of like people knowing that I'm about to be going live and just hanging out there for the 30 minutes beforehand. But I don't think there are people hanging out there in general at all times. There are bots, certainly. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have, I have actively watched two people have a conversation on like a Thursday when I am never streaming. Hmm. It was very strange. I, I don't know why why they were there <laughs> that seems especially weird because you have a discord that uh that yeah, seems the natural like, way to do that yeah pretty pretty standard place to to have a conversation yeah i don't know i mean yeah more power too just... I, hey if they want to have a nice chat have a nice chat i'm with it yeah. all right i'm moving into my my train fight this fight sucks so i'm not really excited for mm -hmm. it I also... Wait, you're fighting the train? Yeah. I'm fighting the awakened one! What is... Well, this is the exact opposite of last time, to be fair. Since last time it was... You fighting awakened one, me fighting train. Yeah, I guess we were just playing the wrong boss at the wrong time. They haven't managed to leap through time, I guess. Yeah. The bosses who leap through time. If only we could fight the band train really you would fight the band train you think drops of jupiter is not enough of a banger to let these boys live no i think drops of jupiter is fine D okay right but fine. I, I swung I, out on drops of uh, I, I swung out on drops of jupiter that's fine but hey, Soul Sister is not going to get you to leave these men alone and alive to continue enjoying their lives and creating the bangers we all so seldom enjoy. No. Okay. That's a very point well made. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I think that we should probably end that anecdote there. Um, I uh, it, it, also ended my run there. Oh, okay. I don't think I will be flawlessing these guys. Okay, that's uh, this is inspiring to see, but I'm also seeing this uh, this score on my screen. So like, die or I lose. Tbh. Okay. Yeah. I mean, please. I I didn't even take damage. I I thought I was about to take damage at like a lot, and I didn't take any. And now I'm really confused. Maybe I don't know how this fight works, but yeah, maybe you interrupted another action or something like that. Yeah, I have no idea what I did. I'm, not, I'm just gonna just gonna roll with it, right? Just gonna roll with it. Uh, Raps, would you say that you're a you're a big? Yeah, <laughs> about to six say... foot four. <laughs> six foot four. Uh, I've I've weighed anywhere between <laughs> seventy eight and one hundred and fifteen kilograms in my life. What's that in pounds? Would you? I don't know, dude. No, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give it to you because. All right. Ooh, Would you say that uh, you enjoy the band train? Two hundred and fifty-three. Um, no, no. I like I I sang "Drops of Jupiter" a lot on the old SingStar because you know SingStar had just come out. I was very very excited to be uh, singing in one of those games, and "Drops of Jupiter" was on the list. Um, but I don't like "Hey Soul Sister" at all. And when people put yeah, it on yeah. in karaoke, I kind of get like a little annoyed. Like I'm not annoyed at the people. Yeah, I'm yeah. not gonna take it out on anyone. But I'm like, oh, yeah. this, that kind of thing, yeah. right? Yeah. It, I, right. I have I, the same kind of like uh, this reaction that like other people would have if people put on a sad song. I don't care if you sing a sad song at all. I don't really care about like the vibe and tone kind of being kept up. It's just. There are some songs that come on and I'm like, no, I'm not. <laughs> like Black Parade as well. Uh, it's another one for me. Yeah. Because cause that everyone in the room goes off for that in karaoke. And I just, I, I feel like I'm transported to the wrong world, like a Berenstain Bears kind of situation. Because yeah. that song did not exist when I was a kid. No one, no one enjoyed it. No one liked it. It wasn't a thing. And now everyone is nostalgic for a thing that didn't happen. I'm certain that I came from a universe where that band and song did not exist and I was translated to this one. Can I hit you with my uh, my number one most hated karaoke song that I'm pretty sure everybody enjoys? Give it to me. Oh, Bohemian Sweet Rhapsody. No, Sweet Caroline. 
Oh, uh, who are you? I who are you going karaoke with? You going karaoke with sixty year olds? Dude, Sweet Caroline bum, is bum, like bum. <laughs> that is like the anthem of America. Just so you know, no, you you you, you, you can't you can't go to a like. You walk in a grocery store, Sweet Caroline playing. You go in a bar, Sweet Caroline playing. I'm telling you, it's it's everywhere. I hate the song. It's nothing against Neil Diamond. He's a fine musician. I mm-hmm. hate that song. I I understand. Uh, but the thing is, the, the, the American kind of song that everyone does at karaoke here in Australia is Take Me Home, Country Roads. Nice. Yeah, that one's also played here a yeah. lot. I, I'm, not, I'm not so mad at that part. one, though. Yeah, because it, it doesn't. Anyway, I, I it, it doesn't have that kind of like karaoke <laughs> objective of everyone yeah, in the yeah. back seat having something to do at those kind of points in time. Specifically, the bump, bump, bump for that. Or uh, yeah. another one would be uh, uh, I, "Come on, Eileen." Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Tora, Laura, 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 Le. Uh, yeah, to la, ru, la, re. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't uh, why, why why don't you give me a uh, why why don't you just tell me your score and I'll tell you one. All right, is it above 1359? You won. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 12 11. There we go. Good game. Good game. Fun well runs. played. Well played. Uh, I, I well think played. Um, yours was very, very uh, good at capitalizing on the uh, extra power that you happen to get, of the, yeah. the curses happen to fit well into your deck, those kinds yeah. of things. Uh, the the, the Snake Skull not stacking, that's a little bit sad for me. Yeah, I honestly don't think it yeah. changed much, though. Because uh, I still would have killed in basically the same amount of turns quite consistently. I will say I got extremely lucky because I'm 100% dead on this run if I don't get Blue Candle. Mm. I lose way too much HP from Regret and Pain. Mm. So Blue Candle essentially gifted me the win. Um, but I also think that without Karen's Ashes, I'm nowhere freaking close. Like, yeah. <laughs> just nowhere close. I desperately needed that to survive. Maybe that should have been my snipe. If I took that, would you have taken the poison from me? No. <sighs> Frankly, I thought you were going for an exhaust deck, so that's why I took Karen's Ashes. And then I was like, oh crap, I have a lot of shivs. I mean, it's, I would have gone with an exhaust deck if I had the ability to support it better. Yeah. Yeah. Just a couple right. more shivs. But anyway, uh, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. You'll get them next time, Raps. Ugh. <sighs> Great. That's, that's just actually, confirmation there is an X-Men. I'm into it. Yeah, see, I think you're up one. I think it's 4-3 now. Eh, it really five, depends. 5-4, five, 5-3. Four, five, it really depends if I got eliminated every time I cheated, because then uh, then it's 7-0. Uh, like 7-0. <laughs> like that. that's, that's about the point. Anyway. This has been Slayers by our Draft Champions. His name is Rhapsody. My name is Alexa. You can join all of the things that we're a part of in the description down below and see us live on Wednesdays, as we said, over on twitch.tv slash Alexa stream and twitch.tv slash Rhapsody plays at 5 p.m. EDT, wherever that translates to. You can, it's very easy. You just go Google and you type uh, time now in 5 EDT. And it'll just, Google will be like, oh, I understand. He's trying to figure out what time it is in his mm-hmm. time zone. It'll just give you your time. It's, it's a very great tool that that dang Google. Uh, can't wait to just get off of this recording and start Googling random things because I just love that Google so much. Anyway, I'm almost thanks addicted so much for to Googling these days. Uh, Dude, I will just I, add, uh, Twitch has its own, uh, its, its own schedule format at the moment that shows in your local time zone. So I'm going to link yeah, down in the you. description as well, both of our schedules. Do you use your schedule page actually? I do, but I also, I mean, my schedule for streaming recently is like, you know, I'll be live on Sundays and Wednesdays, but I also might be live on Monday or Thursday Mm -hmm. or Friday or Saturday. (laughs) So it's like, you know, just join our discords and that way you can get the notification when we go live and we ping everybody to come join the stream. Yeah, sounds good. All right. We'll see you next week. Catch that. Bye-bye.